welcome to March. February is finally over, which is awesome. I always say it has the shortest amount of days because it sucks the most. Did you know more people kill themselves in the month of February than any other month, which is why, thank goodness, it's the shortest month, but then also why I felt it was super important in March to have this reading center around our happiness, okay? So there are a lot of reasons why people watch these videos, but at the very core of it, I think that people are watching because they want some good news, right? They want something to look forward to. In the uh, words of Omar Suleiman, a very wise guy, he says that the keys to happiness are three things. Something to love, something to do, and something to look forward to. So hopefully, I'm gonna give you all of those in this reading. So, um, even if your life is already full of joy and happiness and bliss, if you're just wanting to hear some validation about these good vibes that you're already feeling, that you know, to hear you're already on the right path, that you're making the right choices, the right decisions for that sense of security, security does bring happiness, right? Knowing what to expect. At the end of the day, happiness is what we're all seeking. It's the reason why we seek out help, why we would use a tarot reader, why we would look up our horoscope. This is why we're doing this, okay? We are fiends for happiness. It's the ultimate drug and so this is what we're focusing on in uh, March so this will be for your Sun moon or rising sign uh, a lot of times because of our moon sign correlates to our emotions and how we feel which is a lot of times why we make the decisions we make that might resonate a little bit better for you so um, it might be advisable to watch your moon sign as well as your Sun sign and then you could do your rising sign as well too if you'd like to um, what did I want to say okay so since we're focusing on happiness for March and how to kind of sustain that throughout the year this is how we're gonna look at it we're gonna do um, where are you at right now what is tainting any feelings of happiness that you otherwise should have right now what will make you feel happy or at least what you think will um, how is that perception true how is that perception false um, what will actually make you the most happy this month and then we're gonna look at the forces that are kind of outside of your control right, that is affecting this state, and um, which ones that are not really within your power are kind of accelerating your happiness, and then which ones are decelerating that. Um, we're going to look at what's going to bring you luck this month, your crystal of the month, your color energy, your lucky days, and then also any energies that you need to kind of bring into your life in order to help the happiness thrive, how to sustain the happiness once you get some, and then just kind of like a recap or overall nutshell of what March will look like for your sign. So um, kind of thinking about, you know, okay, well, is this reading going to be enough because it's for each specific zodiac sign, each sign has their own. Then I was thinking, um, those of you who have followed me for a long time might remember stop, drop, roll readings, uh, where it's something that you stop doing, something you drop from your life, and something you should roll with. I think I'm going to do a special on those, but um, really kind of amped up or accelerated in order to um, really harness in on that happiness sort of life coaching aspect. And the reason why I think this is important in March is because number one, it's the perfect time for spring cleaning, right? Uh, number two, the popularity of Marie Kondo right now and, you know, sort of thinking about let's get rid of the things that don't bring me joy. Let's just focus on the things that bring me joy and, you know, we all are always looking for joy. We're either trying to increase pleasure or decrease pain. And so that's kind of the purpose of this reading. And then here's the other thing. We're about to step into this Mercury retrograde. We're in the pre-shadow period right now as I record this. And so then when it hits us, um, in order to use this time in its fullest potential, we want to very much evaluate, okay, this isn't working for me. I wanna pitch this and I wanna do something that's gonna make my life better. It's gonna make me happier. It's gonna make me more joyful, more satisfied with life. And so um, I think I'm going to offer that like in sort of a goals and coaching, very intensive sort of way as a special. Um, once I decide to do that, if you're on the email list, um, I only send one email a month, so don't let that be a reason why you're not on my list. Um, then 
you'll be notified of that. And if there's like a coupon code or something that would be in there, uh, if you're not on the list, you should be because I give away, like I said, it's only one email a month, but I, every single month I give away a free 20 minute, um, video reading to uh, a random person selected from my list. So that being said, um, I'm sorry if this long intro did not bring you joy, if it decreased your happiness, but now you know what to expect in your reading. So let's get started. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to March. Whoa. Okay. So straight out the gate, there's some stuff to say. They're saying like all of the hard work that you're putting into something, totally worth it. And there are little signs here and there along the way, but the biggest of signs you can't really see yet, which is why they wanted to tell you that. Okay. So that being said, let's see what's up with you right now. Where you at? They're saying, um, you know, from an emotional standpoint, all of the things that you're feeling and experiencing, you're not crazy to feel that way. So that's good. They're saying the biggest thing for you is to be showing love to others. And this is not like saying, hey, I love you. It's like doing nice things for other people. Um, you know, giving your partner a back rub or buying a nice gift for somebody, something thoughtful. They're saying that this is... Um, going to create bonds and feelings of togetherness, which is super important for you in the month of March. So um, what's maybe tainting any feelings of happiness that you would have right now? And they're saying um, it's this energy currently that's going on of expansion. So, you know, any sort of negative situation, it just seems like it snowballs. Um, but conversely, anything positive that's going on is also going to snowball. So remembering that. Now, when it comes to feelings of confidence or a lack of confidence, with some, which some of you are feeling, you're maybe uncertain, unsure, that will just continue to snowball. So that's something we need to remedy. As well as this energy of confusion, like maybe we don't know what's most important to us right now. And so the more that we focus on our confusion and um, what we don't have all the answers for, the more that that's going to snowball and become an issue for us. So... Um, what is it that you think can kind of combat this and make you happy this month? And they're saying, you know, honestly, you're kind of up until this new moon starts, you're going to be sitting there and you're kind of looking and going, mm, okay, what are my challenges? And are they worth it or not? And, you know, what is the best strategy here? But you're very balanced in the way that you do this. You have a good grip um, on the difference between, you know, your emotions and real life and, you know, Okay, what am I thinking versus what is practical? How do I feel versus, you know, the practical realities of things? What is attainable and what isn't? And so that's actually working in your favor. Um, so how is your perception true here? And they're saying that, you know, honestly... You're being very straightforward in your communication with other people, even if that makes you feel somewhat vulnerable, and you're sort of allowing yourself to be open to criticisms of other people and using that effectively um, as feedback in order to maybe better your plans moving forward. However, um, you know, you're right that certain problems or issues in our lives don't always have like a happily ever end after kind of ending. So, you know, for example, maybe you had a business, okay? And now you're looking at this and you're going, is this still the right business for me? I don't really know. Should I close it? Should I sell it? Should I change it somehow? And you're kind of standing there and you're looking out and you're going, hmm, Okay, so like practical realities versus how I feel. And, you know, is this something that even actually makes me happy anymore? And so this doesn't necessarily have to be work related, related to like owning your own business. This could be about relationships. It could be about any area in your life. And so you're kind of sitting there and you're like, um, I don't really know what to do. And so you're not taking action on that. And is that the right way to handle it? So let's see. And they say that the answer here is um, somewhat variable for everybody. And the reason being is because that depends on your perception of whether this is something that brings you joy and happiness and love or not. So if you're feeling challenged um, to kind of say, yeah, you know what, this is something that brings me a lot of joy, happiness, and um, love in my life then you're also going to be challenged to move this forward in a positive direction. They're saying this is going to be challenging, like especially if it's regarding um, business uh, or money, you know, material things, wealth. It's going to be challenging to have enough. 
Um, but then conversely, like if this is about something regarding relationships, it's going to be hard to, um, you know, maybe move things along in the relationship the way that you want them to. They're saying it's going to be challenging for you to embrace any sort of lucky energies that might come about, especially in a Mercury retrograde, if you haven't determined how you actually feel about something and whether or not it brings you joy and contentment and happiness. So a good way to frame this is what would it take for me to feel content in this situation. And if the, if the answer seems extreme, you might want to kind of reevaluate and maybe discard that from your life. So they're saying, um, you know, for some of you, it's just a matter of having the right circumstances and waiting for those to present. And then, but everybody's situation is different. And so then for the others of you, it's more about just communicating with the right people, sending the right email at the right time to the right guy. Um, so how is your perception false here about, um, you know, what it is that you think is going to bring you joy or happiness this month? And they go, well, honestly, like, for the most part, you've got your head on straight, you know, it, but unless you're thinking that keep to continue doing what you're doing is going to work. Um, no, a, do, a change does have to be made because things will only become more unstable over time, like moving into April. If you don't change things, um, for many of you, this is a negative thing. It's like, okay, well, if I don't change this thing, then I can just continue to expect more of the same and it's not what I want. Uh, but, you know, having this idea that somehow things are going to be magically different is just completely inaccurate and it's a toxic way of thinking is what they're saying. So what will actually make you happy this month? And they say um, that, you know, doing this in the considering like what's actually going to make you happy in a deeply emotional level like on your own removed from other people um you're not going to find that solution that the answer isn't there that your answer involves other people this month like you are somewhat rel relying on other people for your happiness that other people are contributing to your level of satisfaction or joy and contentment this month more than usual um What's actually going to make you happy is putting yourself first and remembering all of your positive qualities that you are t typically a very happy and joyful person and just kind of trying to remember it, that about yourself and then showing that to the world. They're saying some of you have been showing a different side of yourself and um, that's going to bite you in the butt a little bit. Okay? Now, um, what kind of forces are at play outside of your control in favor of your happiness? And they're saying that, you know, there's really not like any need for you to come up with like a brilliant new scheme or anything like that. Like you've already done the perception shifts that you need to and that, you know, your head is basically on pretty straight. You have an awareness. It's just about going, oh, okay, let me apply this to life. Now what's going on outside of your control that um, maybe is working against your happiness? And they're saying it's like, you know, waiting for an opportunity to come in, for someone to reach out to you and somehow make things better in one area of your life or not, and then kind of not getting that information, which has something to do with retrograde, you know, like emails get lost sometimes. But like somebody else's failure to communicate in an effective way or to do something that they're expected to do is creating challenges for you. And so um, that might make you pretty uh, kind of, you know, it it lowers your level of happiness or contentedness in the month of March. So what's going to bring you luck this month? And they say your crystal of the month is aqua aura. Isn't that beautiful? I love aqua auras. So anyway, these correlate to the throat chakra. Um, these are helpful for you to discuss emotional issues with other people. It helps you to kind of clear um, and cleanse the room. So this is awesome if you're about to have a discussion with somebody, like to put it in the room because it will take any shitty any energy from you, but also from them, um, and eliminate it. And then it encourages, you know, sincerity. It clears out your own aura and theirs. Like I said, it creates like this environment of harmonious interactions among people and like really positive and harmonious communication between people. And so like, if you have to deal with somebody and you're afraid it's going to turn into an argument, perfect stone to have with you. Um, <coughs> it encourages people to, 
find like the good in situations and then kind of like figure out what your own talents and inherent abilities are and then use those to their highest potential for the highest good for yourself as well as the community at large. Um, this one will protect you against like psychic negativity or other people's bad vibes, right? Negative and intrusions and stuff like that and then it activates your third eye so any sort of insight that you're hoping to get from spirit this month to help you make these decisions is going to be um a little bit easier to flow into your life um should you have utilized an aqua or a crystal and then it also helps you to like kind of get you know clarity of mind and stuff like that increased concentration but then also clear audience messages and then um clairvoyance so there's a lot of things um, else that these stones do. You can look it up on my website if you want. You can also order one from there if you're interested in that or just get one from your local rock shop, but that's your crystal of the month. And um, then the other thing, so if you get one from me, though, it comes with a uh, playlist of videos on how to use crystals and then all this information, like how to care for your specific crystal, which angels associate to it, with chakra, blah, blah, blah. Um, so your lucky day of the month is the 31st of March. So, you know, waiting all the way to the very end, that's your lucky day. And then your power color is, um, apricot. And so the cool thing about this color is that we don't, we are not limited to just using this as like a, you know, a color cleansing energy that we would, you know, bring it in from the top of our head, moving all the way through our body to kind of cleanse and clear things or wearing apricot. You can eat it or you can, um, um, light an apricot scented candle or something like that to really harness the energy of this power color. And so with this one, um, the number here is 20. So it's about creating balance that expands. Um, so that sounds good, right? Now, what it says is rejoicing and laughing is the theme of this one. So it takes any burdensome or heavy energy and it turns it into joy. So you could be carrying around some like bullshit energy that surfaces, that comes to light because of the mercury retrograde. And then kind of the way out of it is just giggling and laughing, having a good time. It gets rid of any sort of irrational fears or anxieties that you might have that are maybe somewhat limiting you. Um, so this brings more joy and lightness basically into your life. So the affirmation with this one is, please awaken the joy, laughter, and spontaneity of my heart and soul. I love it. Okay. So coming back to the other parts of our reading, uh, what energies do you need to bring more um, into your life in order to kind of foster this environment of joy and happiness, contentedness? And they're saying, you know, understanding that kind of sitting here in pain and in sorrow when things go wrong um, and just like wallowing in that, like saying, oh, I'm just like sacrificing, like myself I'm just like you know surrendering to you know the bad things that happen to me because I can't control them in the universe okay that's true you can't control things right you can't control when it rains or what the weather is but you can protect yourself against it right you could wear a raincoat you could wear a jacket and so they're saying like this is not really like good self-care you know if you're like oh, well I'm just gonna have to like I guess that's it you know I, mm, too bad. Um, advocating for kind of what you need and solving your problems like right away is going to be important. You know, for example, they say, oh, if you don't, you know, set up, set things up with the state to pay your child support, we're going to arrest you. And they go, oh, I guess that's it. I'm just, I'm going to get arrested. That's my destiny. Like, fuck it, whatever. Might as well commit a few crimes today. Um, no. Just make the fucking phone call and tell them, well, I don't have any money right now. I just got laid off from my job, but I do have, you know, $100 coming in in unemployment, so I will give you 20 At least you're making a payment plan so you don't get arrested because if you're in jail, you definitely can't pay your child support. I mean, that's just like a silly example, but I mean, it is an example. That's my point, okay? So you don't just say, okay, fuck it. Like, this is just how things are. No. You make a different choice. You protect yourself. And so Aqua Aura might help you. Um, kind of seeing the humor in shitty situations will help you with the apricot energy. So that's how we're going to move through that, okay? Now, um, once you feel, you know, any moments of joy or happiness in your life this month, how are you going to sustain that? What is the best information here? And they say um, making a contract with yourself, like kind of um, making a deal with yourself that you're going to do more of that. So 
you know, perhaps you go to a comedy show and it is just so much fun and you feel like all this release and joy and laughter. Then you say, you know what, I'm going to go here once a month. And you just like kind of pre-plan it in your calendar that this is a date with myself or with my partner or with my best friend that I'm going to do on a routine. I'm creating a new routine or a system for myself based on the things that bring me joy. Um, you know, I personally love mochas like so much. It is worth it to me to spend $300 a month on mochas because they bring me that much joy and happiness. So I have my um, budget <laughs> set to the side for that and I put it into my little um, caribou app on my phone and then when it's gone at the end of the month then it's gone. You know I might have a few days that I go without a mocha but I make a commitment that I'm going to treat myself right in the morning because if I am going to feel joy and contentment and happiness by having that mocha every single morning, it's setting the tone for my whole day. So it's making a promise to yourself based on the things that you notice bring you joy throughout the month of March. Okay, so March overall in a nutshell for you guys, they're saying like financially, um, this is maybe not like anything different. It might be kind of a slow month for you. They're saying like as far as... Um, you know, kind of day-to-day -day life goes, not much changes, but on an emotional level, you kind of are forced to, you know, with like a Mercury retrograde, we kind of deal with the ups and downs, but we're really realizing this time in this retrograde, wow, I've come a long way from where I used to be. I've learned a lot of lessons in my short life, and I am like remarkably peaceful and calm despite all of my trauma and shit like that. And then this is also a month of taking action based on the things that we know that we can control. And we have to understand that we might not see the results of those actions immediately, but it's about planning and taking them. And so, you know, making those deals with ourselves is really important. So love and light and I'll see you in April. and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!